Hey guys, Dan the Man 92 here, back in with another video for you guys today. Start of the new year, so happy new year guys. Hopefully this year is better than last year. But as I'm gonna start doing first day of every year, I'm gonna show you a new shop tour and toolbox tour. So let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so here's a quick overview of what it looks like. I, if you guys notice, I do not have that other toolbox over there. I ended up giving that to one of my buddies, so he has it now. Um, what I plan on doing soon is getting a bigger toolbox. That way I can possibly get rid of this one right here. Thinking maybe the 46 inch one from Harbor Freight. I think it's 46, it's either 46 or 44, but Kind of plan on getting that, maybe one of the uh, side lockers and side uh, cabinets for it, but we'll see. Anyway, let's start with the toolbox. This is the US Journal. This is the Series 1. Up top, I have a few of the magnetic trays, some flashlight. Here I have uh, yeah, my Milwaukee screwdrivers. My gear and screwdrivers, all my sockets, or most of them. These right here are the uh, stubby Torx. There we go. Half inch flexible ratchet, I believe that's Harbor Freight. Also have some tape measures on the side, some small clamps, some levels, another tape measure down there. Here I have the rest of my ratchets. Um, uh, wow. <laughs> Harbor Freight, Craftsman, Cobalt, Husky, Cobalt, Craftsman, uh, Husky. Here's the uh, gear wrench. This is like the uh, thumb ratchet. Then this one is a blue point thumb ratchet. Have some extensions in the back. Down in this drawer, I have my gear wrench ratcheting screwdriver set. Love this thing. have my snap-on uh, ratcheting screwdriver right here, along with the extension down over there. Here's my uh, Warrior bit set. This is the security bit set. Look at all those bits. <laughs> I have some of the Pittsburgh precision screwdrivers. I have a speed out. And there's the uh, bolts and screw removal kit. Allen set, various adapters for drills. My Matco <clears throat> uh, ratcheting bit wrench and all the bits and bits. Another little, uh, what is it, uh, miniature screwdriver set or bit set. Over in this drawer, we have all of my pliers. Have a set of these uh, welding pliers right here. I have adjustable tin snips, needle nose, uh, crescent wrench, body clip removals. Also have some wire brushes down there. Have a small file set over there. So I have a miniature um, pliers set right there. And over here we have my wrenches. These are all gear wrench, except I have one Husky one back there. Those are all Pittsburgh, those suck. And then I have a Mac, I believe this is Matco. 
Yep, Matco 9mm. Then I have my uh, indexing pry bar. Down here I have my Milwaukee drill, a battery, have a staple gun, staples, and I have a uh, air grinder. And then this little hyper tough drill. This thing is a piece of crap. Uh, down below I have some saw, various saws. I also have a uh, rubber mallet. And then I have a uh, battery tester down there. It's a load tester. Now on this workbench, I have some pieces of wood. I have all my uh, impact sockets. So I have a slide hammer. I have torque sticks. I have an O2 sensor socket set, and I have a radiator pressure test kit. I have a video that I've made about that uh, pressure test kit. I'll try and I'll uh, link that for you guys so you can take a look at it. Set works pretty good. Top, I have a uh, caulk gun. I have a couple dead blow hammers couple body hammers. These are one of those interchangeable hammers. Regular claw hammer in the back. I have my charger right there. I have a PlayStation controller that I'm trying to fix. In this drawer, I have some chisels, tape, plane. Um, wow, drawn a blank. <laughs> uh, Leatherman. Just a husky razor blade, I have an awl, and I have another multi-tool back there. And I also have a clamp for my sliding compound miter saw, pen, sharpie. This drawer I'm very pleased with. This is my electrical drawer. I have some heat shrink tubing, some terminal connector set. I have a soldering iron, I just got that for Christmas. I have a stud finder, battery terminal cleaner, a bunch of alligator clips. I have this uh, helping hands I just got for Christmas. I have a wire stripper, this electrical test kit I also got for Christmas, and I got a heat gun. I also have some solder and a wire brush on there. I have my shop back over there. I have my five-speed drill press. And I have a uh, vice fort. So I have my Hobart uh, Mig Hobart Handler 125 MIG welder. Use the flux core wire. I have not tried that out yet. Uh, if you go to a, my most recent video, I showed you that I repaired this so that now the wire is actually coming out. What was happening was the uh, cables were reversed in this, so instead of pulling the wire in, going to the torch, the rollers were pushing the wire back out towards the spool. So all I did was just reverse the two cables, and now it just shoots right out of the uh, torch handle, so that's perfect. Also have a welding hood, have my uh, all my drill bits. I have some tight bond wood glue, my wooden mallet that I made in another video. I have my bench vise right there, and then my sliding compound miter saw right there. So another thing I want to do besides getting another toolbox is I plan on making a metal table. It's going to be kind of like a welding table so that I have a perfect place to use my MIG welder. Also thinking about maybe getting a welding cart. I saw that Harbor Freight has one for, I think it was like 30 bucks or so. So might be picking that up soon. And I have a few projects in mind that I plan on doing soon. 
I'm not gonna tell you guys right now what those are, but I'll make an announcement soon once I get everything all figured out. So anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys can think of any tools that you think I might need for metalworking or woodworking, let me know, because I'm passionate about both. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. Also subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Thank you very much. Have a great day, everyone.